Hey, it's Shane with TheSimpleGig.com, educating and training, not entertaining and complaining. Another low-budget, quick video note here, only simply because I have something so common sense to offer people that I can't believe is not taught, because this can be understood at a basic, fundamental, low IQ level. You've got to understand this. When somebody riots or breaks a window of a business, the cost of that window, then you, you, you might say things in your mind taught by, I don't know what this force is out there, but it's not common sense. You might be taught like, well, they just get insurance and they cut. Well, if you actually, as a business owner, a small business owner, or even a major corporation, if you claim it on your insurance to get the insurance money, your insurance premiums go up. And if there's a few of those in your neighborhood, your neighborhood is classified as a higher insurance risk. And so the insurance rates for every business in your area. So if you go to buy a sandwich or a TV. It doesn't matter what you're going to buy in your neighborhood. You just taxed your neighborhood higher. Because that business is now going to say, well, our insurance rates went up. We've got to increase our costs. So it doesn't matter if it's a dentist or, or a, a car wash or a sandwich shop, coffee, it doesn't matter. The cost just went up because the insurance rates went up. Meanwhile, in the peaceful neighborhoods where those insurance rates, there's no insurance claims of people breaking in and riding. Well, in those rich neighborhoods where they can afford it, the price went down of insurance costs so they can afford to sell goods cheaper right so then the business owner says I'm not gonna claim it on my insurance because I'm not I don't want my monthly insurance rates to go up so I'll just pay for it out of pocket well same thing he's taxing you so you caused a tax on your neighborhood and so then you steal something a tv a flat screen from walmart fuck walmart right walmart's got plenty of money to steal let's steal from walmart the cost of that lost tv doesn't just go like oh you just print it and make another one it has to be made and built and shipped and there's tires on a semi that get worn out bringing it to you this all adds and when you stole it or whatever it gets destroyed, then that price gets taxed to you in your neighborhood. But meanwhile, where neighborhoods are highly policed and highly funded by rich neighborhoods paying extra for police security, <laughs> not allowing this, the costs of living go down. And this is just a fundamental idea of uh, financial education that is not taught to you in schools. Somehow you think, I don't know what you're thinking, but every time you break a window, you steal something, you riot, you take something that's not yours, the price goes up in your neighborhood and you are taxed even further. And if you defund the police, you are you are literally and and deliberately killing the poor because those neighborhoods will suffer the most meanwhile the rich neighborhoods they will hire their own private police and they will fund them to the hilt so you're just creating a bigger gap why not just learn from the rich read rich dad poor dad it's an easy read but when you're done with that, you've got to read The Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. 
and educate yourself with something that is not taught in schools because they don't want you to know this. They are actually egging you on to be entitled self-rotten brats. I'm Shane with TheSimpleGig.com. Drive towards your dreams.